Hey, it's Dougie Wood, and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about five new SharePoint design features that have been recently launched near July of 2024. So these tips are going to be helpful for anyone that's looking to improve the design or working on the design elements of a SharePoint site. Now, the first thing that I want to talk about before I jump into more of the specific design features that have been recently announced by Microsoft is I want to talk about the co-authoring feature that's recently been announced. Now, co-authoring, we know it inside of things like Word documents, Excel, PowerPoint, things like that, where we're working on documents together and collaborating on them inside of Microsoft 365, inside of SharePoint, inside of uh, OneDrive, inside of Teams. It's where you can see how, where people are working on something at the same time. But up until recently, that has not been possible inside of SharePoint Pages. So SharePoint Pages now has a feature um, that's been announced which will allow us to co-author. So you will be able to see um, when you go and edit a page in SharePoint previously, it would say this page is currently being edited by Dougie Wood and you wouldn't be able to edit it at the same time. Now, the feature has been announced that we will be able to have co-authoring in our SharePoint pages so that when we go onto the page, we can see exactly who's editing. But also, this is the cool part, you can see exactly where they're editing at that point in time to so be able to see the text appearing on the page. So gone of the days of having a page that, say, for example, if you're part of a team of people that's looking after a SharePoint intranet or building out a SharePoint intranet, then you won't have to... Um, wait to someone else to start finishing a page now i've seen so many times when i've been working on sharepoint projects um with a team of people that someone might be working on some pages and then they might go on holiday and they've forgotten to publish the page that they, they had been working on and it means then i have to wait for them to come back or I have to discard their changes i can't edit it at the same time whereas with this new feature we will be able to edit the same documents at the same time now, this is just a little snippet that's come from the Microsoft Roadmap, which basically tells us that the Collaborate on SharePoint pages and news with co-authoring feature, which allows multiple authors can collaborate on a SharePoint page or news at the same time. Um, that's due to start rolling out in June of 2024. So this is going to start hitting your SharePoint online intranets very, very soon. So let's talk now a bit more about the features inside of SharePoint when we're coming to edit our pages now the f next thing that I want to talk about is the content pane so when you're actually in edit mode of a SharePoint page we are going to get a new content pane previously you would access section tools and templates on the left hand side of the canvas web parts um, and, and it can only be added through the on canvas plus buttons after this update, you'll see the new content pane when editing SharePoint pages and news pages as well. It is a toolbox for authors to explore content via the three main views, toolbox, properties, and design ideas. This is going to make the design of SharePoint pages even easier. It's going to get even easier for you to be building pages and getting them to look and feel much nicer using this layout options. So we can see we've got things like um, our kind of frequent web parts that we'll be accessing up here. We've got stock images um, as well as section templates that are going to be added to the page as well. So actually having template layouts that can be easily inserted all from one pane. So this feature um, that has been announced inside the Microsoft Roadmap um, known as content pane for SharePoint page and news. It describes the content pane as a new place for relevant panes that help authors create their publications. With the introduction of these centralized locations, uh, a new toolbox will help authors quickly browse and add content to create rich and engaging pages. The content pane will include additional panes such as configuration tools, design ideas, um, and more. Within Viva Amplify, the content pane is also used to host the distribution channel selection, writing guidance, and audience selection. So we can see this is starting to roll out in July of 2024. So this is something that's fresh off the press, um, and you will start seeing this um, very soon inside of your SharePoint intranet. The next new feature to talk about is the text web part. Now, we all know and love the text web part that sits inside of SharePoint, but it's quite restricted in terms of what it can do, its layouts and options for configuring that text. So Microsoft have announced a new 
update to the text web part um, which Microsoft describes this as part of one of their improvements to the text web part for things like more bullet point list styles which include discs circles and squares um, expanded support for font sizes so that I think ranges from 8 to 250 or something like that so absolutely massive now that sounds quite extreme but actually I've seen some fantastic designs which are leveraging more kind of like um, website designs modern designs which use very large text um, to sort of amplify something so it's maybe the name of a product or a topic or something like that which is in massive text on the page and that does actually look quite nice as part of the design we've also got more numbered list options which include numbered alphabetical um alphabetical small roman roman small um, and you will also have the option in the menu to start new lists or start list at uh, and then set the value so you can then set it to start at a certain number if you wanted to as well so this gives us much more control over the kind of text um, from a design perspective it means that text is um, going to look a little bit more like what we our, our brand our kind of designs um, so I'm really excited to have this um, rolling out into our intranets so the preview for this is um, May of 2024 with an expected rollout of August of 2024 so this is something that as I say is still coming down the line it's probably not hit your internet just yet um, but hopefully by the end of the summer um, we should start seeing this dropping in so in the roadmap this is known as the enhancements to the text web part described as new features coming to the text web part including enhancements to styling formatting bullet points, numbered lists, and tables. I just wanted to pause for a second to ask you a favor. Um, if you're enjoying this video and my other videos, please do subscribe to my channel. It really does help me out and it helps us grow. Also, if you're looking for more SharePoint training, then take a look at my channel and go to the membership tab. Now, my membership is only 99p a month, so it's not gonna break the bank. But within that, there is a full SharePoint training um, series that will get you started with SharePoint um, that, that can help you along the way. Um, also, if you need a SharePoint consultant and some professional help building your SharePoint intranet, then use the link in the description or the description in my bio and get in contact with me today to discuss how we can help you with your SharePoint project. But let's get back to the video. So image shapes. Now, this is another great fantastic design update that Microsoft have um, recently announced. This means that we can add images to our SharePoint intranet and then we can choose to add in a shape for that image. So we don't have to, for, for those like myself who uh, I've said in previous videos before, I'm not a graphic designer. I'm not, um, I, mean, I, can, I can knock up something in Photoshop a little bit, but I'm not the, the, the best graphic designer in the world. So for people that want to build out their intranets and maybe shapes are a very important part about their corporate um, identity, their brand, their designs, um, their themes. Say, for example, I've worked with organizations which triangles play a massive part in their, their, their look and feel. Now they can add images to their SharePoint site and through a drop down up here, they'll be able to select whether they want to have a circle, a triangle, a square, hexagon, pebble or teardrop shape applied to their image so this means that again if you if you're using a lot of a certain type of shape with inside of your brand your theme um, you will be able to use this directly on top of images without having to be a graphic designer without having to edit images before they go in and it makes it much easier um, for, for people to get that design look and feel so this announcement um, was actually made um, uh, well, actually, it's supposed to be rolling out in April of 2024, so a lot of people will start having this in their SharePoint intranet. Um, known as the, uh, the image shapes feature, um, Microsoft has said that we're adding the capability to apply a shape over the image web part as well as on the online images in the net in the text web part. Shapes include square, circle, triangle, hexagon, pebble, and teardrop. So those are the shapes. But if this is picked up and, and it's quite widely used, I can't imagine that Microsoft would ignore requests for having different types of shapes added to the images as well but I'm sure they're just testing the water to see these are the most common shapes that probably people want to use now 
the the next feature i want to talk about is aligning pages now this is something which has always been a real bugbear of mine and in previous sharepoint design videos i've talked a lot about that aligning pages is probably one of the most difficult parts about sharepoint design and microsoft have kind of heard um, our, our feedback about this and they've recently released a new feature that is going to help with the alignment of pages so as we know sharepoint pages are made up of sections that go across the page these sections can be split into columns um so as seen in the screenshot uh, below um it's got three sections all split into two columns um and this is a new feature will soon allow pages uh page editors to align content across two and three column sections with the sections top center or bottom um, it's also worth noting that the new content alignment section um, we can see here on the right um, it is basically the sections that we've got then the content alignment is a new kind of option inside of that pane so previously um, we would be able to sort of say where the, the sort of sections were on the page now we can actually align the content to sit better on the page now this means that you don't have to do things like say for example if we wanted this text to sit in the middle to align with this image we don't have to put like spaces enter um, above this as blank text to push it further on the page which then gets all a bit wonky when it comes to responsive design and things like that so this is going to mean that our layouts are going to be much cleaner crisper and we can actually get the the content to align where we want to inside of that web part zone so this has been rolling out since april of 2024 this feature known as a new uh, section level content align um what a mouthful um with section level content align authors will now be able to center and bottom align all the web parts within a single section this will make it easier for all of the columns in your section to be visually harmonious and reduce the need for the space of web part so this is music to my ears because in previous videos with design i've mentioned that space of web part that we've had to use it to try and with a little bit of jiggery pokery get things to align on the page a bit better whereas this now is going to make it much easier to align content on the page not have these weird spaces not having to use the space web part to try and fill gaps and things like that it's going to make our lives a lot easier so as always if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe if you've got any questions at all use the comments below if you need any professional help um we are available so get in contact with us there's a link in the description below um, to get in contact and um, there's also a link on the the bio section of my channel get in touch um, we do offer services to help you with sharepoint um, and and document management solutions and everything else you need within the sharepoint world thank you for watching and keep your eyes peeled for our next videos